to show you around my game, Mr. Carter's Farm. I'm just going to click on the build here. And this is the homepage. Each scene does have its own audio. So as you go on to the next one, it's going to change. Um, I'll show you around on the main page here. So you can hit play. It's going to pop you up in level one options. You click, it'll be your volume here. It does not actually change the game volume, but you can actually move this flare ball up and down. I'm just going to hit back. There is levels in this game. I do have three levels and you can choose them here, but I'm going to return to the home page and just hit back again. We quit here, quits your game, so I'm going to hit that. The acting just stands for acknowledgement, so it has all the list of the assets that I use for my page, including the music, which is free sound. So this is just a general overview of all of my stuff that I have used. Um, I did create my, some of my own assets on this game, including the characters, which is the four main, which is a, a mole, a fox, a duck, and a cat. I'm just going to go back, hit play. So immediately you go into this level. I'll show you around just a bit. So I did create this duck prefab here. And this level is basically one that you can kind of explore as you go along, which is why there's a longer amount of time in the top right corner. So down here, you can actually see all the trees and the mountains and the actual farm field here, including this crop of sand. And the level goal of this level is to actually collect five shovels, as it says in the top left, which was using a script to collect the items. So these shovels right here, you just go up to them and you can collect the item. Sometimes it does not immediately go away, and, but that's not going to be a problem. And you can also press E to open the door right up here to get into here. And there is one shovel here, so it is a requirement to go inside of this building as the shovels are not automatically assorted throughout the map as it is too large. You just go up and collect this one and then turn around. Go back out the door. You can hit E to shut it, but make sure you are outside. So I'm just going to hit this one. And the door was using the script that we did in class. And this is using a first person controller. I just sit off the camera to be farther away so you can actually see it. So this, once I get this, it's going to automatically pop me up here, and I'm going to let it kill me so I can explain a little bit more. Um, this one is using a script to have a race, so you race to the finish line, so you see at the end as I go through the game. But the point of this is to escape the moles and follow the pumpkins to the finish line, which you can see right here to the left, and it's explaining at the top bottom right corner. Um, on this game, there is a little bit of problem with a script. The kill player script on this page as it is popping up level complete going to next level. That is not correct, but it is fixed later on the next level, so it's not a problem in this one, but it is going to pop up. So just go to the finish line to complete the level and it'll automatically set you to level three. So this environment is also the same as the other one. And so I'm just going to hit restart. This you just use the WASD keys, and that is it. And you only have 60 seconds to race across the track. It does pop up five points from the five shovels that you have captured in the last scene. And these moles are going to get really close to the camera and it's not going to kill you. It has to actually physically hit the cat in the scene, which is what you're playing as. And you can see all the trees and the ground and the mountains. And there is the finish line by the black and white checks. So I'm just going to go back and forth and go around the moles. Once you hit this, like I said, you're going to be transported onto level three. So I have hit level three, and I also see in here, I'm showing you that it does pop up your guide once the moles hit here, and it does give you instructions on the top left, so you need to defeat a fox leader with Mike, which you can see right here, you'll see giant health meter bar, and this is the only one that has it, as this is the only player you are allowed to kill during the game. Um, I did use Pro Builder on this, as I did not mention in level one. You can just hit restart, and you'll end the scene. You're going to have to run pretty fast. Once you get in, 
you can start shooting immediately. It doesn't matter how far away, but you can just keep hitting. And I accidentally hit the button for next level. I'm just going to go back into the levels and show you that level three button does work. I'm going to do that again. As rapidly clicking for me, going at it is going to hit that on my computer. And it is going down as you hit it, so that does work. And this one is going to be a very hard level, so it may take you a lot of tries as Phil does me, and it is easier with a mouse. easiest way to win and it does pop up the correct feature. It is going to be covered up on the screen because the text is too large, but that is the complete game. Um, I did make a lot of the assets, but not everything, including the, the shed scene at the very beginning that you can go through with the door, made with Pro Builder, um, all the assets either made by me or are found by me being itself. This home screen was also made by me in Illustrator. If it was not made inside of Unity itself, all these buttons were working there. And I'll show you the last button is the quit button, which you just click right here, and it's going to pop you back on to my main desktop, which is right here. And that is the end of the tutorial. Hope you have fun.